practice done. Y'all obviously had a fantastic weekend. So. It's Let's not over. It's, it's not Let's that great yet. No, it's just started. Yeah, it's yeah. just getting going. Here we are. You know, it's beginning of the year. So for us, it's it's like four months of like cooped up, bad weather, cold. Well, being in Indiana, it's been horrible. Yeah. You know, not that it's any warmer here in Gainesville, Florida, but you know, to get out and kick the season off, uh, we actually got off to a little bit of an early start this year, being the big news. Of, a girl on the team. We had a girl. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we had a girl. Uh, you know, in orange and black. So it's uh, it's been really a very interesting off season for us. A lot of changes, a lot of extra work, um, but it's been good, and and it's great to see it all paying off. And speaking of the girl, Angel, how's it going? I saw you in Orlando. I know you're doing yeah. some testing. Me, you, and Arda were talking a little bit. So, um, how you feeling now? I, I feel a lot better than when I spoke to you in Orlando. Okay. Each each time on the motorcycle got better and better. Um, in Orlando, I was almost there as far as being mentally prepared for this. Okay. Um, but there was still a little hesitation of how I was going to do in front of the crowd and the rest of the competitors. I knew I was going to be a nervous wreck, or at least I thought I was going to be. But actually, when I went to the starting line for the first round of qualifying, the nerves just miraculously disappeared. And I made a really nice run and I shut down really safely like I wanted to do and I was so excited. And I, you know, I was pumping my arm in the <laughs> shutdown area because it all came together for me. And now I feel like, or I know that I can do this. I was questioning that before. That motorcycle is more motorcycle than I've ever had beneath me before and I wasn't quite sure that I could do it. Now I know I can. Okay, now where you're at now, let's do a reminder. What was the very first motorcycle you ever rode? When I was six years old, I had an RM50 Suzuki. Okay. So I started on dirt bikes. <laughs> Obviously, I, a actually, long way. no. Let me scratch that. <laughs> because, there we go. Like, start. <laughs> no, I was on the back seat of my daddy's Harley yeah. Davidson, and I'm not trying to throw a plug there. That is true. Three, <laughs> I was probably three years old. My dad started riding me around on his Harley. Outstanding. Now I'll make a quick note before we go to the man number two. Since we have the girl, the man, man number two. Um, watching y'all in Orlando, um, me personally, I have I pay a lot of attention to how y'all act at the line because I'm looking for a little different shot. Because anybody that knows me knows how I shoot. What I like to say with them and their crew, there's one hiding off over here, by the way, and there's another one in there. Mike Delaney. Right. Yeah. Um, he's he's Mike's been humping it. I saw him up at the line. Um, when they're up there, it's like a machine. So, now, I've obviously seen teams over there. Um, if just Angel's up there, these guys are right there with her. So it's like a machine. And one's moving around, the other one's going in place. How quick did y'all have to adapt to that, or did it come pretty naturally? Because y'all seem to work really, really good together. I think it came pretty naturally. Uh, luckily, with Angel being a good student, she, she figured out what changes we asked her to make, and she would adapt to that very quickly. We saw that in Phoenix, you know. With with her riding style over the years, she would always come out of the burnout box, you know, swap swap clutch hands, put it down in first gear with her hand okay. to kind of get that feel for it. Eddie and I are like dirt bike riders. You just slam, slam it down with your foot. So that was the first thing we asked her to do to really change up her routine, and that it kind of threw her for the loop the first time she went out there. She, she upshifted it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, she was in fifth and she got to the start She's line. used to a reverse pattern. Our Harleys are actually standard patterns, so she, she started yanking up on the shift lever, and I was like, no, 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 let's go back down yeah. to first gear. But uh, she, 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 she gelled right into the team really flawlessly. I mean, it was it was a pretty good deal in Phoenix. And, uh, rolling into Orlando, you know, I, had I wished, I wish we would have had a little bit more success in Phoenix to, okay. just to give her more confidence during that, that break from Phoenix test to Orlando test, but... She obviously did enough mental preparation going to Orlando that her, her starting line process was flawless at the, the Orlando test, and we had uh, all the guys primed up. We knew who was going to line her up, uh, who was going to point for which direction, and everything seemed to work pretty good. So with Eddie and I, it's, it's kind of old hat. We've been we've wrote what we've got what four or five thousand runs on yeah, yeah, for <laughs> Charlie. So she's over here. She's got up to. 18, 19, yeah. 20, 22, something like that. So she's just an infant in our, in our team. But uh, the guys, I think, do a decent job with making everybody feel welcome and get, instilling yeah. confidence that you know you're going to have the motorcycle when you go to the starting line. You don't have to worry about a whole lot. You just worry about what you need to do 
to get to the finish line. And, and I think that to, to elaborate, the hardest thing to do is really get everybody on the same page. And, and that's what I try to pride this team, be, be proud about is yeah. Everybody on this team, I'd say we are a lean team, and lean team meaning crew guys, because we don't have four or five guys or three guys per motorcycle. Mm -hmm. It's me and one guy on my bike, it's Angel and one guy on her bike, Andrew and one guy on his bike. And so one, and one floater. And one floater. Go help out wherever else. So you know when when you have that, we all know what we need to do. And the nice thing about it is, is I don't have to ask him if he did his job. If I do my job, he does his job, or that person does their job. So it, it there's no second guessing. Though. And it clearly shows. I mean, look at your performance. Look at what you're achieving. And like I said, you're having a fantastic weekend. But like you just said, we're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's really excited about not done yet because he's, yeah. he's wearing the green <laughs> he's hat. He's not right? done yet. <laughs> All right. Well, I greatly appreciate your time, Vance and Hines, Harley Davidson. Let's give them a big shout out. So, I, I especially have to do that. I mean, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Every driver out here wishes they could, they could drive my motorcycle. And even if they say they don't wish they could, they're lying. <laughs> I've wished it for many, many years. I just thought it would never, ever happen. But I'm here, it's happening. I had a fan a little while ago look at me and they said, you are on show, right? <laughs> and I'm like, I know it looks really weird, but yes, it's me. So I do have to say thank you to Vance and Hines and Holly Davidson for the opportunity. I hope it lasts a long, long time. But if it doesn't, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me in my career. She may be hopped up on Benadryl because the, the, uh, <laughs> the uniform might just cause the allergic I did, I reaction. I said that. When I, first, when I first put the shirt on, I was like, it burns. <laughs> but I'm used to it now. It's all good. You seem to be adjusting well. I am. It, it's, it, it, it's happening faster than I thought it would at first. Yeah. Um, there's other things that I wish I were doing better on. Um, I made a couple of mistakes on my shifts. Not huge, but... I could have probably stayed a little higher. And She's exaggerating and over, overworking. <laughs> She's looking for sympathy. No, right? I, I, I believe that I could have done a little bit better job, but it's it's going to come. You know, it's I've only this is my first race, and like you said, 17 runs before we got here. I'm very proud of how well I have done, and uh, it's just going to get better and better from here. I'll tell you what, the strangest thing though was Q1 when I had to run her. Okay. Because of how we stacked up in qualifying coming from last year, I made the turn off. And I'm sitting there, put my bike back down in neutral, and here's Angel talking to me, friendly. I'm not, I'm like, I did it, I did it, I did it! <laughs> Critiquing her run, and we're talking about stuff, and I'm like, wait, she's usually yelling at me. What's going on here? Then well, I had yeah. to think, oh yeah, she is a teammate now. Well, if, if, if he says that's strange, I got one that's even stranger. I'm working on my motorcycle, and Angel sticks her head out the door and says, hey, Ed, would you want a sandwich? And I'm like, <laughs> all right! <laughs> But we try to have as much fun over here as we can. And uh, that's the one thing probably people don't know about us. Mm -hmm. They don't. We have a good time. And, yep. you know, I, I I like to have a good time. I mean, I'm not Everybody good. thinks. <laughs> I, I can vouch for that because I thought it. I thought these two guys had no personality. Well, he has a personality, but it was a nasty one. <laughs> he has no personality. And everybody here is just boring. And it is so totally the opposite. They are just really serious about what they're doing during the workday hours, but when the race day is over and it's time to relax, I, I laugh the whole time. <laughs> I never would have thought that they were funny, never, or that he was nice, but, it's, but he is. We got a great group of people here, so, and uh, we wish you success not just this weekend because we got some more left, but for the rest of the season. We're obviously going to be following around, following you along. As soon as I learn how to speak, we'll both be okay. <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate your time. I know it's been uh, y'all are super busy. I know you're getting some downtime this evening, chilling out, relaxing. So um, all the fans here at DragBike.com do appreciate you taking the time with us. And uh, you got some more weekend. You got some more season to go. Thank you again. Thank you. No problem. Thanks. And Thanks. congratulations. Thank Angel. you. So.